Here I come! Notice that the bigger one has more difficulty changing direction. So a mass spectrometer measures the mass of atoms relative to carbon-12. It actually measures molecular mass as well, but that's for one of the options if you're doing that one. All right then, so first step of the five is vaporization. You have to turn it into a gas in order for it to go into the machine. The machine is evacuated. Second stage, electrons are shot from an electron gun at your atomic sample and it turns it into an iron. That's ionization. Now you'd think the ions would be negative, but you'd be wrong. Shooting negative electrons at the atoms makes them positive because it actually knocks off the electrons. Just like in the first ionization energy, you're knocking off at least one electron. The plates there have an electric field and that accelerates that positive ion through that part of the machine. Now, the reason it has to be an ion is because you can't really accelerate an atom using an electric field. It has to, it has to be a charged particle. Notice that it now curves down that tube. That's called deflection. There are two electromagnets here. So this is the magnetic field, not the electric field. That was acceleration. The magnetic field is what causes the deflection. And finally, the detector uh, sends an electrical signal to the recorder, and that signal is based on, uh, it's a measure of the number of ions with that M over Z ratio that are detected. And that's the final step. Well, let's consider two lithium ions, lithium plus and lithium two plus. Now they have the same mass, essentially the same mass. The difference is the mass of one electron, which is tiny, about two thousandth of the mass of a proton. So let's assume the lithium plus lands there. Where's the lithium two plus going to land? Well, the two plus has twice the charge, and so it's going to be deflected more by the magnetic field. But the mass spectrometer is more known for measuring uh, the different masses. So let's compare the lithium plus to a sodium plus. Now, sodium is a much heavier iron. And so it's going to have more trouble changing direction, just like in that little animation before. The heavier one has more trouble changing direction. So it's going to adopt a, f a more straight trajectory. It's still going to curve because it's got a charge. So what's important? Well, the mass is important and the charge is important. Both of those affect how much it curves around. And that's known as the M over Z. Question, which of the following will deflect the most in the mass spectrometer and which will deflect the least? So deflecting the most, so that means it bends the most. So it's going to be the lighter one, less mass, less inertia, less resistance to change in direction. And the one with the high charge, the higher charge one is going to uh, interact with the magnetic field at the deflector and bend more. So that's going to be the lightest one with the highest charge. And what's going to deflect the least, so the one that's going to hardly bend at all well, that's going to be the opposite one, isn't it? The heavy one, high mass, high inertia, more resistance to a change in direction. And the one with a low charge will interact with the magnetic field less. So that's going to be the lithium 9 plus. Now, sometimes they ask you about the M over Z, and I can never remember which way that goes, so let's just work it out. The M over Z, the mass over charge. So I'm going to do the mass over the charge four times. All right, then. Let's write those numbers down. Seven, nine, three and a half, and four and a half. So let's look at the highest and the lowest numbers. The nine and the 3.5. Now, it looks like the nine, well, that's got the highest M over Z. So that was the heavy one with the low charge. Oh, that's going to deflect the least. And the one with the low M over Z that's the 7 and the 2 plus. So that's the light one with the high charge. That's going to deflect the most. OK, so a higher M over Z means less deflection. Easy. I hate IB chemistry. <laughs> Thank you.
Notice that more charge means more bending. 